Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm, my name is Paul Gamble, and I uh, work with the Community Engagement Lab uh, during the day and during the night. I do uh, community gatherings around public art, especially for our synergy. My name is Amanda Golden, and I am the consultant who has been hired to help you guys develop your public art master plan. So what is public art? It's anything that you want it to be, right? It can be monumental. It can also be unexpected, <laughs> right? But it can also be functional. Uh, this is a bike rack. So why does public art matter in Montpelier? It matters so that people can experience things that are unexpected. You already have some of these wonderful things here, but how can we bring that out and really showcase these things? But public art, most of all, is really an outward expression of community values. And I think that that's the most important part uh, that is missing in the part of, in the conversation about public art. And that's what we're here to do uh, in creating this public art master plan with all of you. So Art Synergy is this planning process, which is gonna be a public art master plan. And it all culminates with a piece at One Taylor Street, which I hope all of you have heard about. So what are the things that are important to you? What do you want your public art to say? Uh, and where do you want it to be? I know that Ward wants to talk a lot about public art and what it means to him and what it's meant to him in this community. So as has been explained, the goal for tonight is that we as a group are going to draw five different places in town and try to imagine the kind of art that might go there. And the drawings that we do can end up, may well end up in the master plan as ideas. So going around and trying to figure out exactly how many pieces we have in town. I mean, I don't know if there's 10, 12, 15, but here's a few. This is gone. This was the Peace Monument. Amanda just showed this. This is the alley piece, which is really surprising. Where are these? Here. Yep, 100 yards away. The one on the left is at Montpelier High School. This one is down at the Pocket Park. It's um, a partial torso. And I actually think that some of the murals that anonymously pop up in town are very meaningful pieces. I think it'd be neat to find a way to sanction them. So <clears throat> these are just some images from Langdon Street Alive, um, a project that sponsored like 25 pieces of public art. One of my overarching conclusions that I think a lot of people shared is when public art gathers and builds community, that's when it's the best. So a piece of art is really exciting when people you don't know gather around and just have a conversation about it, or indeed public art becomes the context for a, for a community festival. So that's my overarching lesson is that public art builds community. Okay, so what we're gonna do tonight then is we're gonna look at five places in town. So this is Shaw's and the river. We're gonna look at City Hall Plaza. This is, a, I think, a really right project for Montpelier to think about how we create beautiful public space in front of our city hall. The second is we have an atrocious back wall of a parking garage that is screaming for love. The river from State Street to Langdon to school is a river corridor opportunity that we're going to look at that I think also reflects other river opportunities we have. So it's about bridges, it's about river, and about bank. And then the fourth is the alley between City Center and Bethany, and then rolling into Bethany's front yard. And then the fifth is to look at the roundabout as a site for public art. And Harvest, did you find any different experience with the different groups? I mean, how did, how did the experience change or not for you? You know, we're also people that know these pieces space as well in some cases and we're able to immediately lay good ideas on the table so mm -hmm. they they know yeah. and love and care about these things instead of looking at them abstractly that there's a real understanding thank you we're over time thank you everybody thank you artists thank you Warren.